the sweet rocket and it's looking absolutely fantastic isn't it now you want to wait until the florets open this one's perfect before you pick it if you pick them too young for example this one here they will wilt in the vase so you want to wait until they're a little bit more open and then you can give them a good old snip cut them as low as you like and then what will happen is these side shoots will start to wake up now sweet rocket will take a little bit of shade and you can see i put them on the end here and the sun comes and goes from this area so we had lovely sunshine this morning but it's in full shade now and you can see they are happy as larry not batting an eye at the shade they will rebloom once you cut them and you can actually leave them and they will rebloom next year too however i find that the best flowers are always in the first flowering season so i would say year one but they're biennials aren't they we sowed them in the autumn so i will pull these out and re-sow them because they're just so easy now ideally you don't want to cut any flowers when when they're in hot sunshine just because it's putting a lot of strain under the plant so i've come around here to the shady side and if you're in full sun in your garden just wait until first thing in the morning or in the evening and i've got a bucket of crystal clear water and i'm going to plunge the stems i'm going to snip them and then plunge them straight into the water to condition there we go take my flower head out and i'm going to remove the lower leaves because you don't want the leaves sitting below the water line because they will rot and then that will contaminate the water so that's the reason we take the leaves off got your balanced hopefully you can see so i'm just going to run my finger down the stem and pull off the leaves we've got the dormant side shoots there and they're just itching to wake up but at the moment we have apical dominance with the queen flower so if we pick that the plant will then divert its energy to waking up those side shoots it's just like early dead heading really isn't it and you can see i've removed the leaves once again and i'm going to take this bucket now somewhere cool the bucket is now in the cool of the flower shed and just as a reminder we are not arranging with them straight away because the shock of being taken away from their water source will cause the flowers to very quickly wilt so if you treat them to a really long cool drink they'll be completely revived and hydrated and then you'll be able to work your magic, whipping them up into a bouquet or arrangement. So I thought you might like a quick update on our sweet rocket stems. And you can see that they're looking really fresh. None of the stems have wilted. So they're ready to arrange with. I think they smell so amazing. I'm just going to keep them just as they are, jumbled together in a lovely jug and take them up to the house.